All right. Listen to this story that happened thousands of years ago. All right, let's get into it. This is about the time when me and my sister were in a stranger's car. Okay, let me explain why that happened. Me and my sister both went to the same elementary school, which happened to be the same school that my mom was teaching at. Uh, And there was a time where my mom... uh, So, like... Yeah, yeah. There, there was a time where she was, like, taking extra long uh, back in the school, like, had to, I don't know, clean her classroom or something. Uh, so it was going to, like, be another, like, 15 minutes. Uh, no, like, 15 to 30 minutes. I'm guessing about 20 minutes uh, that we would have to wait for her. So we had to go, like, wait in the car. Uh, and so we went to go to my mom's car and like i don't know a while went by and we were surprised that my mom still didn't show up uh and we were wondering like huh this is strange then we noticed like a few minutes after that that we thought it was strange that we were not in my mom's car turns out we were in some complete stranger's car that happened to look the exact same. And mind you, we are little kids in elementary school. I was probably in like, I don't know, fourth grade and my sister was in first grade, something like that, quite young. And we were literally in a stranger's car and had no idea that does not sound good. Stranger danger. So thankfully the stranger, the, the stranger didn't arrive back at the car uh and thankfully we realized that so then we got out of the car and walked to my mom's car uh and we happened to arrive at my mom's car just like a couple minutes before my mom went in the car so she didn't even realize that all happened i don't think we even told her that day uh but it was quite interesting real short story and that's that so yeah i'm I'm sure it's happened to all of you of like maybe not all of you but most of you that like when you're younger when you're like in public and like your parents are guardian like you see them or whatever and uh but it turns out it's not them it's just some other like person that looks like them uh so like when you're real young you don't always notice those things or even when you're older like me you don't always notice those things like that uh i i i get uh like nowadays uh so like my vision isn't as good as it used to like I'm supposed to wear glasses when I drive which I do but like when I don't drive I just don't bother wearing my glasses uh but uh so needless to say I'm quite blind so whenever I happen to like see anybody from afar that I might know I don't try to say hi to them anymore because there's been many instances in the past where I said like, oh, hey, blah, 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 from like across the street or whatever. And they give me a weird look and it turns out it was definitely not that person. And then there's been many times where I like, uh, would like say, hey, look at that sexy girl over there, blah, 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 to like one of my friends. Uh, and then it turns out it's like a huge <laughs> man or it turns out it's like a really, really old lady. So I don't, I don't open my mouth for any of that kind of stuff anymore until I get to a close enough distance where I know what I'm actually seeing. You know what I mean? But that's that. And long story short, be careful what you're looking at or something like that. All right. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.